What's going on, YouTubers? This is DJ Tipsy, and I am doing a review on Azar California Blue. Big ass pack. Good shit. I haven't smoked it yet, but I'm really excited. Right when I open the pack, it smells good. So, a little history about myself. Been smoking hookah for the past, I don't know, almost a decade now. Since I was about 20, 20 years old. First started smoking when I went to Dubai. And I fell in love. So, enough about me. Let's go on up to a review. So, what we got here, first off is my beautiful hookah my Khalid Mamoon or to be short KM um, I got these titanium flats pretty good stuff and then of course what we're reviewing today is the Azar Premium Hookah Tobacco the Gold Line uh, California Blue and I'll be topping it off with my clay bowl. This is a pretty, this is a pretty big one right here. What well, bigger than most clay bowls that I usually smoke out of, you know, so I can, you know, smoke longer. You know, instead of like 30, 45 minutes, I can smoke for like an hour and some change. You know, and I'll be cutting it with my my handy dandy galaxy knife. It cost me like a couple of bucks, but whatever. So, uh. Let's get this parte started. Right. So we're gonna open this bad beast up. Right. We'll put that to the side. And I really don't need to cut it, but I like to do it anyway. Cause as you can tell, it's uh finely cut. But I like to just be make I like to be really sure that the hook is really fine, so I just do it myself. So I just get out, you know, get out like uh, as much as I think I need. If I got more, then I just put it back. Whatever. And when you do this, it helps breathe the hookah in. You know, Try to get those spaces off, you know, so the air hoses you know, will come through, and uh, you get good airflow. You know. So much better to cut it up. Ooh, you see how juicy that is? Oh, the aroma is so good. It smells like um, uh, it smells like a minty blueberry type of uka. Yeah, I smell a lot of berries and a lot of mint, but the mint is really strong and it's pretty nice. Alright, now we're gonna fill it up. But like do it like little sprinkles, you know, like the snow in there, you know. See, that's a lot already. But we're not gonna push it in too far. Just gonna fill that up. And I like to fill mine up a lot. I like all that flavor in it, but I don't like to pack it. So don't push it when you're doing it because you're doing it wrong. You're going to up wasting your shisha. All right. So make sure you got it leveled off like that. Don't, don't pack it. Just patch it. No pack. Patch. All right. So now we got this leftover hookah. Let me put this back. Right. It's time to put these titanium flats in. These are awesome freaking coals right here. These like they burn pretty nice. Let's just say that they burn for a long time. They don't really burn out the shisha unless you put too much on it. So I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put three coals on it. And they look like these. They're just square. So titanium. Premium coals are the best way to go because a cold can fuck up your hookah. Like, 
for example, like the instant lights. Like I got those uh, a few years back when I tried it, and I didn't like it at all. Some of the instant lights are not good. Uh, if I would recommend an instant light, it would be Starbucks. Probably the best one I've had. But let's not go that cheap route. We're gonna go this route because the, the premium hookah, premium shishas, mixed with the premium coals equals a good night. So uh, we're gonna just put it on here. And we wait. All right, so the coals are pretty much done. Um, let me explain the reason first to why I have, why am I lighting the coals this way vice the stove or, I don't know, a fire pit or something. Which, that sounds pretty cool. But I'm doing it this way because it's just so much better. The thing is, if you put it on the stove, it starts burning and like the house starts smelling like ash. It's ridiculous. But for here, for some reason, it's just, it works, you know, it's, the smell doesn't linger around the house. Uh, the coals actually burn better than the stove will ever do. So, I'm going to take it off now and then put it on the hookah. So, what I do, what I like to do is kind of like blow it. Um, I like to blow it before I put it on there. So, hold it on there. So I get my guard, you know, I get like a little guard or something, just get anything so you want to spread it around your house. I just blow it. See how that's like, how that's glowing right there? We're going to put it on the hookah. Be careful when you're blowing it because that shit can get in your eyes and shit. So I, I would suggest like close your eyes if you're not an expert, close your eyes and something. Blow it. Look how red that is. For example. Right, for example, right? Look how red that is. That's, that means it's burning good. That's some titaniums right there. All right? The titaniums. All right, so we're going to unplug our... We're going to unplug our, um, our burner. And then we're going to wait for a couple of minutes for our hookah to start, um, start cooking, basically. It's like cooking. You can't eat noodles without the water, without the heat, the steam, you know? So we're going to wait for it to start cooking. And we'll get back to you guys in one second. So we waited for about five, six minutes, and it's time to start smoking. So let's get a sip of my tea. Let's get down with the smoking, the hooky time. Hooky, hooky time. Pump of the day, it's now getting warmed up. Just puts a nice smile on my face because it's so damn good. It's smooth, it's uh, it's not hard, you know. Um, it's powerful, but it's not too powerful. It's gonna like knock your ass out. Can we smoke a little bit more. taste those berries and this is perfect chemistry the berries and the mint together it just it feels like christmas yeah like uh and it is like it's it's fall right now but it's getting to winter and i, I feel like i can hear like jingle bells in my head I was starting to roll in. I just started the hookah. Like I just put the coals in like maybe five minutes ago. And it's starting to blow already. That's amazing. Uh, 
Clouds are coming. Smells so sweet. Smells like I'm, I'm repeating myself, but it's like that mint is like right there in the tip of it. It first like it comes to you first, and blueberry. The blueberry hits you first, and then the mint comes out. It's like an aftertaste of mint. It's like you second in blueberry, and then phew, the mint is like coming in, and it smells so good. It's like a man. It's, if you smoke this all around the house. You have kids come in, they're like, damn, what is that smell? Because it smells so good. Like, it's like an air freshener. Like, like it's, it's pretty good. So I've been smoking for about 10 minutes now. And this is, it's hitting me already. It's like, I feel really calm, relaxed. And it's nothing more perfect than this right now. Um, this is a good shisha. It's uh, I'm amazed, really. I'm really amazed about this. Uh, I had got this on hookahcompany.com, and I wanted to try some new flavors out because I have been smoking Al Faulkner a few times, and you know, I was kind of getting bored with it. So I said, let me try some different flavors from different companies. And I'll tell you what, this company, they're really knowledgeable about the shisha and the brands, and they take really good pride of what they do, as you can tell. Uh, so, if you guys got any more questions, just comment me on the, uh, the inbox. And, smoke away.